reminding all that when people come together with respect and understanding, they can create something truly extraordinary. The Filipino Chinese badger warrior anchor. Born from the legacy of the seafaring bachelors, the Filipino spirit of unity and wisdom of ancient Chinese dynasties, he stands as a beacon of marine conservation. As the emperor, he safeguards the seas, ensuring the sustainable fishing, protecting coral reefs, and fostering peace among the maritime plants. A symbol of unity and conservation, Lakad Lihai Taduyong embodies the harmony of two great cultures working to preserve the ocean's delicate balance. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that was Seaver Choi. Up next, let's welcome Kenneth Cole. <laughs> the costume is inspired by Han Fu, the distant clothing of Han and the group of the Jin Dynasty. It is his grace and elegance that can be worn by men and women. It is moderately infused with the representation of snake, a symbol of auspice and honor in China, and the lotus. Ancient Chinese thought that a snake could prolong life and considered it a symbol of good luck, great harvest, and reproduction. Lotus symbolizes the heart and mind's ultimate purity as it rises and tame and beautiful from the mind. It is the utmost importance in Chinese culture because of its religious and marriage symbolisms and food usage. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that was Kenneth Cole. Up next, please welcome Stephen Conte. Embodying the essence of fearless Chinese warrior, Stephen's cultural costume exudes strength and ability. The headpiece symbolizes life and vitality, not only pays homage to Chinese heritage, but also conveys its rich culture and significance. While the broad shoulder in Sambal signifies power and resilience, the sword symbolizes courage and honor. Echoing the unwavering spirit and revert virtues of Chinese warriors throughout history. Crafted from indigenous Filipino materials, notably rattan, the costume represents the interconnectedness of Chinese and Filipino cultures. Charles Bodyguardio. This costume takes inspiration from both the Shang Dynasty warriors and the Ka Maharika. The Shang Dynasty is renowned for its advanced use of bronze weapons in warfare such as swords, spears, axes, and target phoenix. These weapons were not only effective in combat but also symbolizes the social status and powers of the warriors. Meanwhile, the Maharika were the freedom warrior class in ancient Tagalog society in Luzon, and they were known for their martial skills, and due to their duty, they represent ideals of nobility, heroism, and patriotism. The combination of the Shang dynasty warriors and the Maharika showcased the bravery, fighting spirit, and ingenuity of both the ancient 
at Chinese food no cultures. Ladies and gentlemen, that was Charles Policario. Up next, let's welcome Matthew Sol. This costume draws inspiration from the mystical Bakunawa, a legendary dragon referred in the folklore of the Philippines. This costume harmoniously melts together a spectrum of vibrant elements from both Chinese and Filipino cultures, a testament to past rich cultural heritage. This costume is a leading testament to the convergence of Chinese and Filipino culture, underscoring values such as unity, tradition, and the preservation of shared heritage. It showcases a shared appreciation for vibrant colors, intricate materials, and the symbolism of scales, which hold deep cultural significance in both tradition. Ladies and gentlemen, that was Matthew So. Up next, we have Jeremy Tenenchi. Golden Phoenix is a symbol of high virtue and grace, an immortal bird that marks the beginning of a new era. Gold represents success, achievements, and triumphs. Like a golden phoenix, Jeremy embodies an unwavering determination with excelling his pursuits. Today, he takes a bold step beyond his familiar box, spreading his wings in a symbolic proclamation of a new generation. With grace and bold soul, he represents the limitless potential of a new beginning through his costume designed by Lani Liwa. Ladies and gentlemen, that was Jeremy Tenenchi. Up next, we have a last two. The costume in the forefaces depicts the misconception that modernity and tradition cannot coincide. While well, modernity often brings new ideas and technologies and way of living, the presentation of this costume serves as a testament that the traditional Chinese opera still plays an important and active role in present society while preserving the Chinese heritage. This blend of old and new influences every aspect of life in China and serves as a model of how society can evolve while staying rooted in its cultural identity. As China continues its journey, the world watches in admiration and anticipation of what the remarkable fusion of tradition and modernity will be here in years to come. Once again, that was Nats 2. Up next, we have Yusun Ui. This wedding garment is inspired by the wedding outfit belonging to Shadow Chi Muriki. It comprises several pieces, including the robe, a pants, a cape, a shoulder symbol, and a walk to find and complex appealing or auspicious Chinese motif of grains fans, and flowers. The garments is adorned by gold embellishments, phoenix-like feather, laces, and crystal or pearl puzzles, which indicates the classical and modern look of the piece. The ensemble speaks of royalty and history, which celebrates how rich the culture of this design is. This costume was inspired by the Philippine Eagle, 
they have a very strong sense of territory, and if there are enemies who have invaded their territory, they will fight back. Where he grew up in Jiangsu, China, they have an eagle festival, and in ancient times, there were a lot of eagles in his hometown. People take them as a sign of, from God of warriors. Today, Kay wants to build a bridge between the Philippines and China. The language is different, the culture is different, but he believes that people's faith and respect to the God and deep love for the environment and Mother Earth are the same. Thank you so much, Kay Zah. on stage in their cultural costume. Cultural costume. Oh, man.